Another type of lawbreaker is making news today, the ones that can't seem to find where the trash can is. Angie Toussaint tells us how people are dumping and in national parks where that kind of behavior is prohibited. You can pay $5,000, spend six months behind bars, or do both if you are found dumping trash on national parks. Of the 33 protected areas in the Turks and Caicos, officials are finding day and day more and more garbage in our protected sites. These trends, according to the Department of Environmental Health, are becoming so serious that residents are going out of their way, driving to the deaths of Providence alleys to conceal their refuse. On a recent tour with officials from the Department of Environmental Health, cans, bottles, plastics, old dirty furniture, shoes, and old cars are just some of the things being discovered, not at the dump, but at national parks. An eyesore for officials and a problem for the department who are trying to crack down on these filthy habits. The Department of Environmental Health claims that the people doing the littering are sometimes residents who use the park for recreational activities like picnics and other social events. They, according to Environmental Health, leave beer bottles, old food wrappers, and other items. Other culprits strike at night when no one is around they dispose of their trash and their old vehicles. Environmental Health revealed that a sting operation is what's needed to deter people from dumping their trash and littering on national parks. The Office of the Attorney General Chambers revealed that under the National Parks Regulation, under the 1992 ordinance, residents can be in big trouble, face hard time if they don't comply with the rules, and regulations. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.